Welcome to another tutorial. Friday tutorial. I'm trying to make Fridays every Friday have a tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to do a drawing from start to finish. A commission that I got over on Fiverr. Here's what you're going to do. Basically I already got the sketch done. I'll show you the quick time lapse on how I did that. Basically I just uh, figured, it, figured out his face. Warped it a little bit. Boom there's a sketch. There it is. I'm trying to make this short and sweet all right somebody in the comments last week suggested that i show how i do a cartoon from start to finish so here's what we're gonna do so once you got your sketch i don't think you just needed to be like to show you how to sketch right <laughs> if you want me to show you how to sketch go ahead and comment that but basically once you have your sketch lower the opacity of your sketch grab your favorite brush i'm gonna be using my custom brush that i, I made myself um it's my inking pen put it on like 10. I'm gonna need to put it on 50. Okay, this is my custom brush I made. Um, I used a couple different textures, but if you're interested in this pen, um, my Patreons get an exclusive download of this brush. But anyways, basically I'm just gonna fill it in, ink everything. I'm just doing the hair first. Boom. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll just speed through this. Okay, once I get here to make it easier, since the face is like straight on, I'll do his eyebrows. Like that. Boom. And I drag and drop the color into his eyebrows so it fills. Then I'll do his eye. like a little bit of details right here and then I'll do like this whole side of his face just one side and his ear when it's symmetrical it's easier all right so once you have the eye one side of his face done you go to your layers swipe left duplicate then you press your arrow at the top of the screen boom and you're gonna flip horizontal and turn your snapping on to magnetic you just drag it on over boom there and then since he has a little goatee it's gonna be a little bit easier to do the connected part just let me just fill that in Boom. Let me just do his nose. Bam. I mean, for like mustaches and facial hair, I just do lines. Like, I don't like how thick it looks when you just fill it in because it looks kind of like the eyebrows. So I just do lines. And then for like his hair down here, since it looks like it kind of comes up the sides, I'll do like little dots just to show that it's like coming up, but it's kind of like shaved, you know? Basically like that. And then I'll get this, bam, his neck. And then we'll do his sweater. Usually everybody wants me to draw them in a sweater, which is crazy. And then his hair, we'll just do that real quick. All right, basically I'm here, and then for the glasses, I make a layer above the lines, and then I just do a perfect circle, and then I do the little boom, something like that. 
Duplo. Boom. Let me hit it with that. Make it like straight across. Then we got that. Hide the lines. Merge the two glasses. Then I make a layer underneath the lines. But then I tap on the lines. Tap on the little S for selection at the top. Make sure it's on automatic. And you tap on the outside. So it looks like that. And you press invert. Go down to the layer underneath the lines. Put it on whatever color. Just put it on blue or something like that. And then I lock the opacity. Tap it and put on alpha lock. Then I color pick a skin color. And then I kind of like eyeball it. And figure it out. That looks about right. So once I have that. Go back to the skin color. Put it on a little bit more of a red. And then make it a little bit darker saturated. And then I grab the airbrush tool. And I just like tap. A little bit like on the forehead you see the forehead got a little bit darker and then like the neck because it's in the shadow and it looks a little bit too dark so i'll go back to the color skin color and do like the middle of the face so the middle of the face is like brighter like that and then that's basically it for that i'm gonna make a new layer above that one put the line layer on reference go back to the under layer and he wants the sweater to be purple so I'm going to give him a purple sweater. Just drag and drop. So when you have your line layer on reference. And whatever color you drop. It'll fill up closed lined areas. So like his sweater's closed off from his like neck and his face. So when I drag and drop it'll only fill up his sweater. So if I drag and drop the purple to his hair. It'll only fill up his hair because all the lines are closed off. Since it's purple, lock, I'll lock the, I'll do alpha lock on the purple, and then I'll get like a little bit of a darker purple, make it go a little bit towards the blue. Grab the airbrush, and I'll tap right here on the top where the hood is, and then a little bit on the bottom, just so it gives a little bit of like gradient. Make a new layer, and then get like a hair color, like a brown it looks like, make it a little bit desaturated. Boom, like that. Lock the alpha lock. Get a little bit darker. Now what I do for hair is I grab the selection tool, put it on freehand, and then I go like this, and I just do like texture, kind of like details. And I select that whole right side, and I just tap it with the airbrush. And then you'll see like when I stop it, it's like it looks like it has like curls now, kind of. Most do like random details on the inside. Something like that. And then make a new layer. And then we're just gonna color in his eyes. White. Easy. Something like that. So if you got that one eye, you can just duplicate it, select it, flip horizontal, and drag it to the other side, and it'll just be like perfect match. Yeah. Two fingers, you pinch them together, and then they lock. And then I alpha lock my eyes, and I put the brush, the color on blue, like a light, bluish grayish. And then uh, I tap right above it, like the eyes, like a shadow. So it kind of gives like a little shadow on it under the lids. So then it looks like that. Then I merge everything together by pinching. Make a new layer above that. Put it on multiply. Get like a purple. Desaturated purple. Take the uh, lines off of reference. Go back to the lines underneath or the layer underneath. And then we're going to fill it in. Let me go back to my custom base brush where you at, key. There you are. All right. So now I'm going to hit everything on the right side. And that's, that's where I want my shadows to be. Under his neck. Inside of his hoodie would be a shadow. 
and then drag and drop, and then underneath his eyelids, and then underneath his glasses, It'll be shadowed, and then his nose. I always do like a little like, the nose tip, I always put it underneath the shadow. His eyelid, and then underneath his glasses again. And then inside of his ear. His glasses and I'll do like under his ear over here behind his head and then this side of the hoodie let's fill that up boom and then underneath the hoodie the hood part and then this side of the arm that will be filled up and then like this crease Something like that. Boom. Okay. Basically done. So then you go to your multiply layer. Put that on clipping mask. Make a new layer above that. Put that one on add. And you can keep the same color or you can change it. I usually use the same color. And then everything on the left side, I'm gonna hit it with the highlight. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. So like his hair. Should I put it on add? That's on add. Okay, and I put that on clipping mask, duplicate it, and then on the duplicated layer, I put a Gaussian blur. Bring it up a tad, probably like 3%. Gives it a little bit of a glow. So then I'm gonna make a layer above the lines, but under the glasses. I'm gonna tap on the glasses, press the S for selection, go to automatic, tap on both of the lenses, and then go to the layer underneath, and then press fill and then you get the color of his lenses are like yellow so lock lock opacity or alpha lock and then fill and then I put it on I want to say add yeah put it on add and then lower the opacity a tad boom then you got some lenses then I make a layer above everything put it on white in my brush and I just like put a little highlight in the eyes also it looks like his glasses are silver so what I'm gonna do is go back to the glasses layer put on alpha lock and I'm gonna get like a gray and I'm gonna fill the layer so it's like shit like gray then I'm gonna get like a shiny shinier like white not a full white and I'm gonna make it look like it has like shine in it Something like that. And it looks shiny. And that's how I make a cartoon. Basic that's basically all it is. I'm basically done. The only thing I would do is add like another color behind him. He said he wanted like another purple. So something like that. And that's it. That's how I make cartoon characters. Or I make people into cartoon characters. They send me pictures on Fiverr. And then I just uh, turn them into cartoons. So if this helped you, please let me know. And if you need help with anything else, please drop a comment. I'm trying to put out a tutorial every week. And I want to thank all my Patreons. If you want to become a Patreon, you get like early access to like videos and stuff like that and tutorials. And sometimes I put like exclusive pictures and process shots on my Patreon. Plus I got my custom brush. I have another custom brush I'm going to be uploading soon. So I would appreciate it if you guys check that out anything helps just looking at it that's sick also i stream every single day so if you want to come check out the stream that'd be dope too you'd also ask me questions there appreciate all you guys i'll see you on the next tutorial have a nice day peace out